Hello everybody, this is Naomi. <clears throat> uh, I got my order in today. This, I'm going to give you a small sneak peek of it. This is my witch's dress for my mannequin. And it is the most beautiful color, purple. So, I'm not going to show it to you all. I want to give you an idea of what it looks like. My mannequin, once it's all dressed up and I'm ready to reveal my cabinet, you will be able to see my witch. Uh, we will be doing the shoes and the, the broom and the crystal ball here pretty soon. I am working on my witch's boots. Uh, this is what the boot originally looked like. I've got it stuffed with bags so that the toe stays good and firm. I've already done one of the boots. I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so for the boot, this is what it looks like versus this one. It's the same boot, I can show you, same boot, I just added a few touches on it, you can see this boot don't have that, and there's my curl for the boot, for the toe, okay, so I'm going to show you how I made this, it's pretty simple. Um, I just took a piece, and as you see, it, it's the Jiffy To Go Chocolate Silk. I just took a piece of that box, formed it around my shoe until I got it at the length that I wanted it. And then I took and stapled it here to the shape that I needed. And that's that. Then I took my glue gun and I put all my glue in here I wasn't perfect about it I just wherever I the glue landed that's where the glue went Tried to do it in a hurry because the glue will dry pretty quick and you just put it on and put it where you want it. Rub it down. I'm going to adjust my camera out just a little bit. Now just take your fingers and form it around it. That's all I did. And then I come under here, come under here, where it is up at, I just shot a deal of glue underneath, and I took a popsicle stick, and I just mashed it down until it stayed where it needed to stay. Give it a few minutes and that old glue will adhere. And then I got a little spot right here that I want to get some glue under. Mash it down so that it firmly seals. And I just gently rock back and forth, and it eventually shapes that bolt, that paper. So that's a cardboard, thin cardboard, you know, box, and then just, just 
what I did. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's go check this side. We got a little bit right here. So, get up underneath there the best that you can. Shoot you some glue underneath. Take your popsicle stick. Pass it down again. Hold it nice and firm. Okay. And any of the excess just kind of easily rub off. And I took, got right here where I put the clip uh, staples at. And put a little bit underneath there to kind of help hold it down as well. Okay, so there's that. So now I'm going to set this shoe to the side. I have some black, kind of like a felt material. Kind of like the back of this boot is because it's food that's leather and felt or suede. But this is the same type material. It's a kind of a suede material. It's a little bit different. Colors off just a smidget, but you're not, I mean, it's not going to be that close to it that you're really going to notice it. So I took this material, took, I folded it from the corner, matte corner to edge up the best that I could. And I'm sewing it inside out. So, I'm going to take my needle. And I'm going to start here in this corner. And it's going to curl a little bit, which kind of helps with getting your shape that you want which that's you know that's on the back side you don't see the the seam anyways so I'm going to stitch all of this up and then I will be right back okay now I have cut or sewed all the way up to where I need it. So now I'm going to kind of fold it square. And I'm going to give me some extra. And I'm just going to cut it straight across. Okay. So. See, still got that much material left. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to literally turn it back inside out. I'm going to use this little tool here to bring my tip out. Stick it here. And sometimes you just have to kind of work it. You won't never get the tip tip all the way back out. But at least you'll get the bulk of it out. Okay. So. Now, lightly heated the ends of it so that it won't frill. 
Then I took and measured what I need from here to there with extra to fold over on the inside. Then I took this and I heated it so that it won't reel. Okay, so now just take your hot glue and just put it on the very edges and you're going to line it up with the heel here lightly tuck it down and move the camera out just a little further here now easily pull it back and just start putting in your glue on the ribbon and you're going to pull it and run it the best that you can and get it to lay down okay pull up the rest of the ribbon Put more high glue down. Leave the flap that's going to go on the inside till you're ready for that. Let it go up. Situate your ribbon. Oops. Got a spot here that didn't get some glue. So lightly just put you some glue underneath that. Take your popsicle stick and lightly mash it down. Okay, there's that. Oh, spider web, and we'll get it off in a minute. Now, where I've got my bag in here, I'm going to remove my bag. And. I'm going to take right here and I'm just going to put me some glue right here and I'm going to fold over this piece here and now it's down and I'm trying to be able to let you be able to see everything that I'm doing okay so there's that put your buckle back and there's that one that piece is done okay so I'll put this back in the top of my boot Need to get another glue stick. Put in my glue gun real quick. Because it's not wanting to give me glue. Okay. And I have the little heart buckle already ran through. Nope. I got one other step to do. Yep. Right here. Got to put this piece down this way. Okay, so what I did, I rolled this over and I put me a little bit of glue here. Laid my ribbon on the top of it. Added it down, made sure it was good and dry before I flip it over. Now, flip it back over. And I just basically did the same thing I was doing earlier. Take my hot glue, give it a little bit. Fold it over. Where it 
met. Okay. And you just basically keep doing that until your Sometimes you get a little bit of that. Take some of this glue off of this popsicle stick. Because whenever you rub the the um, um, ribbon with it, it has a tendency to leave traces of the old glue from the stick. And I've been trying not to do that because I don't want it to look crappy. Okay. Here's that. Okay. If you get any glue on the outer edges, just literally kind of rub it off. Because with, well, at least it did with mine, it just kind of come off. Okay, now I'm just going to clip it here lightly. I don't want it to Trying to be really careful because if you don't, right through here is where we will have problems because the strip here is coming across here. And you don't want it to come across too far because it will show later. Okay. I can get this off all later. So, just easily rub that off the best that you can. And back to this side. So, what I'm going to do now is basically do the same thing I did a while ago. I'll trim back your edge easily. Okay, now I'm going to bring the other boot up here where I can position where that needs to be. So pretty much right there. So let me get, I'm going to put this pin through there so that it can't move. Now we move that boot and I'm going to roll this over. And my first thing I'm going to do is tack this piece here down. And remember, you got to get it pretty much laying where you want it because 
You won't be able to move it too much after that. like so. There that is. Now we can pull this back out. I've got a lot of things sitting out. I'll be glad when I get this witch's station done so that I can get my room picked up and straightened back up because I I'm just one of those that I don't want to put it all up just to pull it back out. So, I don't. I leave it out. on the other side up here Do the same with it, just pull it over basically until you meet the other piece. Then I'm going to take and clip this right here. And I'm going to use my There's that And I'm going to hot glue it again Finish it off Like I said, you're not going to see this bottom for the simple fact they're not to wear. They're basically just to look at. Okay. So. There's that shoe. Now, to make this toe curl, what I'm going to do, I'll take my needle and thread again. Let me adjust my camera one more time. So, I'll take this needle and thread, and I'm going to tie it. 
Get them on a decent size knot so that it won't pull through. And I'm going to clip the very end off. Then I'm going to go right through the tip of the right through the tip end of the toe and I'm going to come down so far and I'm going to grab a piece of that material and I'm literally going to just start stitching and pulling it over And sometimes you have to tie it in a knot to make it do what you want it to do, where it stays, basically. And you just keep doing that until you get the curvature that you're wanting. And sometimes you have to kind of help it. To get it to get that curve. Just like that. See how I pulled that snug? Now I've got to kind of lock it in place. By tying it into a knot. Now, I'm going to bring the other one over here. And see if we've got the right curve. Actually, we do. So, I can stop right there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one more knot here to secure that. And then I'm going to clip it. Okay. So that, everyone, is how I make, how I made my witch's boots. I hope you liked my tutorial. Um, I will be back. Um, I'm going to put how I make my witch's broom on this video too. So I will be back tomorrow uh, to do it and the witch's hat because I'm going to decorate my witch's hat too. I'm going to stuff it and decorate it. So until tomorrow.